to the flood, mate. All right. Tracy, though. Poor Jeff. No, it's a nice, quiet space for me, own, you know? And when I was young, I had to share with Andy and then... my first wife. Oh, and then so on and so on. Yeah, quite. Hey, can buy me a brew to go? Thank you. Well, good luck with it anyway. Cheers, mate. Hey, and if you're here of anywhere, just... For a flat, are you? Something like that. Well, as it goes, I actually know one that's going. Well, a rooming one, at any rate. Whose flat? Mine. You mean your mum and dad's? I mean, I'm not a loser. I mean, mine. Mm, might just be weird. I mean, I'm only like 15. Not like it's any of your business, but I'm 20, as it goes. Seriously? Right, do you want to see it or not? Where is it? Precinct. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Nice one. Cool. I can go after my shift. OK. Cheers. Hey. Nice to see you out and about. Not a very sensitive thing to say to a homeless person. Carla's not kicked you out. No, it's my decision to leave as it happens. Well, where are you going to go? I don't know. Hopefully not far. Um, I'm going to view a flat share in the precinct in a bit. Uh, Seriously? Mm. That's not going to be the same as living with family, is it? People who are looking out for you. I'm old enough to look out for myself. No, of course you are. I'm just saying that with how difficult it's I been. am going to be fine, OK? OK. Do you want anything? No, I'm all right. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I can't believe you're still moaning on about her using the bathroom. Look, it's for hours at a time. I mean, yesterday, I had to go to the cafe to use the loo. I mean, what does she even do in there? You're just jealous. Oh, of what? Not having mastered the art of soaking or contouring? Okay, and what about the washing machine? Okay, she does know that you're meant to wash more than one thing at a time, doesn't she? She's got, I don't know, delicate stuff. Oh, yeah, I bet she has. Anyways, you're not going to have to suffer for much longer because we're not planning on staying, OK? Good. OK, but in the meantime, you need to have a word. Look, just give her a break. She's going through a lot, OK? What with the, the, the divorce? Oh, boo-hoo. You know Dad's not going to put up with it, don't you? Got to go. Oh, don't tell me. Off to see your girlfriend. Yeah, we'll meet you for brunch, actually. Unbelievable. You'd better tell her. Oh, hello. All right. All the better for seeing you in one piece, that's for sure. Yeah, sorry for not answering your text. And, uh, sorry for yesterday. I was out of order. It's all right, Ryan, really. No, it's not. You and Peter... You've been amazing. You know, taking me in, giving me a home. Oh, give over. No, I'm serious. I was sinking and... I didn't care, but, but you did. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Excellent. Well, I'll catch you later then. No, Carla, that's, I'm, I'm not here because <clears throat> I'm, I can't come back. Of course you can. No, that would be the easiest thing to do, believe me, but I have to learn to stand on my own two feet again. But you've done enough. You've done way more than you ever needed to. It's up to me now. Hmm? Just gonna get the rest of my stuff. Okay. I'm sorry, I've got to go out. It's just a, it's just a quick meeting with the bishop. Um, but how about I come back straight after and then we can do something? Ooh, as tempting as doing something sounds, I've arranged to go around to Jenna's, try my wedding gear, sort of a trial run. Ooh. It's exciting. Can I come? No way. Why not? I'm going to see it on the day. Yeah, and I want it to be a surprise. Anyway, I think Gemma and my mum are pretty chuffed that I've asked them to help. Oh, um, don't take this the wrong way, but if they suggest, like, 
fairy lights down the lapels or anything. Oh, as if. No, I'm thinking more down the side seams. Mm. Yeah, very well. <laughs> I'm sure you'll look gorgeous in whatever you decide to wear. Mm. Can't wait to see it. Enjoy. You too. Beth thinks we were born yesterday. No, but she just said that. Actually, I am not going to waste my breath repeating it. Do you want to go through this audible call? Uh, sure. Listen, uh, before we get started, I just wanted to make sure it's okay to, to book some more leave. Really? Yeah, I'm planning to go away on holiday, so... Uh... But you've just come back from Paris. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. And, and to be honest, I'd prefer not to shoot off again so soon. But, mm. uh, well, the truth is, I'm, uh, I'm worried about Jenny. You know, I, I think it'd do her good to, to get away. So you're worried about Jenny? Uh, yeah, it's this, this, this business with Leo, and on top of which she's trying to get her head around uh, Teddy's disappearance. So no news there, then? Well, not as far as I know. I, you know, Jenny, she tries to put a brave face on things, but her stress levels are, are through the roof, which is why I thought a holiday away from it all might... Yeah, of course. Of course, that's fine. Nice. Maybe we're getting a pay rise. And that's as likely as you it's in a top say. Oh, naff off. You're never going to let me live that down, are you? They just put that in an email, though, wouldn't they? Mmm, I reckon it's something bigger. What can be bigger than a pay rise? Something strategic. I definitely reckon they want to turn it into one of those theme pubs. Karaoke. Mm, you and your massive top seas, you'll be all over it. Mm, you're not kidding. Let's just wait and see, shall we? I reckon that's a good idea. You haven't got a number for Nancy Logan, have you? I just, I, I, I seem to remember that she and Teddy, they were pretty friendly at one point. No? All right, no worries. Well, look, if you, if you hear anything... All right, tra. <laughs> I just don't know where he could be. Well, wherever it is, he clearly doesn't want to be found. Oh, sweetheart, I hate to see you like this. And I get that knowing there's nothing more you can do for poor Leo makes you want to help Teddy, but you're going to drive yourself crazy worrying where he is. Of and... course I'm going to worry uh, about him. Like I'm going to worry about you, which is why you know, I thought it might be a good idea to, to get you away from here for a while. Go somewhere exotic. You know, I was thinking maybe Thailand. I don't own this place anymore. I can't just come and go as I please. Oh, well, I'm sure if you spoke to the HR department at the company, they'd let you have compassionate leave. They'd have to. Mm. Oh, sorry, but the fella from Waterford's is here. Knock, knock! Oh, do you work here? Uh, actually, no, I got lost on my way to the salon. Uh, Sorry, yeah, no, I do, yeah. There's two of you. Yeah, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> She's Tweedledum. Right, come on, you two, chop, chop. It's been getting fed to serve us about two. It's all The boss, I presume. A rose between two thorns. <laughs> I'd take that if I were you. I run a cab firm and I dread to think what my lot call me. All right, what, you're the owner, manager? I've been known to clean the toilets in my time and all. Do you hear that, Kev? And what can we do for you? M.O.T. If you can fit us in. Yeah, no problem. You've uh, not used us before, have you? No. As it goes, I've just had to ditch the garage that's handling my fleet. You don't see too many female mechanics. No. Yeah. Go to college, did you? Prison, wasn't it? I expect they want to make you a bit more disciplined than that, you know, which is what you need when you've been addicts like we have. Uh, perhaps you could uh, just give us a call when it's ready. Yeah, no problem. Perhaps we could go somewhere a little more private. No, it's fine. Uh, whatever you've got to say, you can say in front of my staff. As you wish. Um, the Rover's Return has its own distinctive style. Yeah, the old British boozer, spit and sawdust. Yeah, and whilst we can appreciate that some of your clientele... Look, I'm sorry, might... but um, could, you just, could you just get to the point? <laughs> the pub is, nevertheless, part of a chain, a very successful chain. And as such, we've decided to give it a rebrand in order to bring it into the fold, so to speak. I don't suppose a bit of tartan up will be the worst thing in the world. Well, yeah, there's wiping its face, but then there's completely ripping its guts out and leaving us with nothing but a soulless identikit boozer. Yeah, precisely. 
And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there was no talk of bringing it into the fold when you bought Newnham Ridley. You're right. But looking at it in context of the bigger picture, management now feel this is likely to be the best thing going forward. Oh, it does, does it? And when is all this going to happen? Well, once the decision was made, it was thought the most sensible course of action would be to begin straight away. Especially as we have contractors ready to go on another project who could be redeployed here. As this was seen to be more... urgent. When you say straight away... This will be your final day of trading as the Rose return. You are kidding me. But what about us? Well, you know, while the, while the work's going on. Yeah. I hope you're planning on paying us properly for the time we're off, because none of this is our fault. Actually, I'm also here to tell you that your contracts have been terminated. <gasps> with immediate effect. You can do this. I understand you're upset. Upset? This is our livelihood you're talking about here. I'm a single parent. Hey, hey, you're going to have to give us redundancy pay. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you'll find that isn't the case with zero hours workers, which you are. No, no, this is ridiculous, right? Because I am the manager of this pub. And until I receive an official letter telling me that this. Apologies, of course. Ah, well, you know what? No one's going to use your stupid new pub because people love this place. You're not going to get away with this. I think you'll find that our company's au fait with the legalities of the situation. But I refer you to the final paragraph. What's going on? Well, apparently they're sacking us all and closing the place down. I, I don't care what jargon your fancy legal department uses. I asked one of your reps and they said that there would be no staff changes. None. I'm afraid our reps aren't really in a position to give those kind of assurances. The hiring and firing is a little outside their remit. So clearly your company is run by a load of crooks whose word means nothing. Look, I understand this has come as a bit of a shock, but the reality of the situation is we're a large organisation with equally large resources. I'm not sure the David versus Goliath scenario is going to be a good look for your company if it ever comes out, though, eh? Sorry, you are...? I'm a concerned neighbour. Now, obviously, we would be happy to enjoy your custom in the future, Mr...? Mr Barlow. Mr Barlow. But in the meantime, I think you should start packing away your stuff. What, with the team arriving first thing to board the place up? I don't think so. It's not my fault you've only got one bathroom. No, I know, I'm just saying that you maybe... You know, and as for hogging the washing machine. Babe, I'm not having a go. This Asher, who I know is very annoying. We need our own place. Agreed, but... But what? No, you keep making excuses. Wait, what about them flats that suggested they were pay effect? Yeah, if you're rolling in money. Look, I don't want to be living with my dad and sister any more than you do. Are you sure about that? What? Yeah, I really thought you were this sexy young guy with big ambitions. Turns out you're a cute boy who's too scared to move away from home. That's not fair. No, what's not fair, right, is being up in that dingy attic, sleeping in a single bed, and listening to your dad snore through the floorboards. You're right. You are. So you'll find some way today. I promise. I love you. Me too. It's mm. not bad. What about bills? Like he's on a key card. Mm. Heating. Put a jumper on. Hospitality really is your calling, isn't it? Look, mate, there's a bed, a microwave, and a shower. I don't cut my toenails on the carpet and I don't leave my pants to dry on the radiator. And to be honest, I don't really care what you get up to as long as it not affect me. Right. And it's not too pervy. Wait, so a little bit pervy is OK? Huh? <sighs> and it's cheap. How cheap? There you go, Trina. <laughs> Actually, if we could just finalise... You know. OK, you've had your fun. Fun? You've just sacked us all for no reason without warning as well as running roughshod over the whole community. Believe me, matey, nobody thinks this is fun. Here, what I don't get is why have you sacked us? Because you're going to need all us lot once you've tarted this place and up. And you're more than welcome to reapply. <laughs> reapply? <laughs> reapply? How pointless is that? You can shove your job where the sun don't shine. Yeah, I should point out a regional manager is already in place. But we will be advertising for a deputy manager. Surely as manager, you're not on a zero-hours contract as well. No, 
Well, it sounds to me like she's got a pretty good case for unfair dismissal. I think you'll find that a solicitor would say... Yeah, I am a solicitor. Jenny, dig out your contract. I'll take a look later. No charge. And two coffees, OK? Yeah, but after your own dinner's fine. OK, no props. And get a receipt. That would be too unnecessary. It makes it sound like you don't trust her. I don't trust her to open her mouth. What? You heard her before, telling that woman you and her was a pair of addicts. Oh, yeah, and you learnt your trade in His Majesty's. Yeah, I know, but she was, she was only trying to help. Help? She's more a liability. Could have meant a lot of work for us, that. Yeah, well, it's still might. <laughs> yeah, right. She couldn't wait to drop it. Well, you can't give up on her. Oh, huh? What are we talking about? Uh, uh, the Monday oh, I'm struggling fitting the new exhaust. Really? So may I take a look at it for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be great. Right, uh, I'll grab my overalls. She thinks I am hanging this out. She is well mistaken. Probably a good thing you've not got a dryer, or your dad's bills would be through the roof. It can sit there. Oh, or her manservant can hang it out. It's that Courtney stuff. Is she not with you? She's uh, she's gone somewhere. Oh, somewhere is in the job centre somewhere. To get her nails done. Oh. <laughs> well, if she's going to look for a job. She needs to look good, right? Because whatever you might think, we both know that if we want to move out, we're going to need money coming in. Mm. Yeah, well, good luck finding somewhere you can afford on what? Love. Well, as it goes, I know a cheap place. Now Paul says the landlord's dead keen to get it let. His mate Shelley's flat. Seriously? That's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll send you the number. What? I just doubt my dad'll be best pleased with you helping them to get a flat. But surely they can't just sack you. Actually, can we talk about something else? OK. Well, the reason that I popped in was to... apologise for yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, for... for being paranoid about Ryan. Forget it. No, it was unfair, and I was just... Really? It's fine. So how is he, then? You really want to talk about Ryan? What you care about, I care about. Well, apparently he's thinking about moving to the precinct. I've just messaged to see how he's got on. Which you don't think is a good idea? <sighs> he's not ready to go it alone. No support system, no one who understands what he's been through. Correction, he's no longer thinking about doing it, he's actually doing it. Flat number four. And before you say it, I know, he's not my problem. Actually, I was going to say, do you want to go around and talk to him? Maybe try and convince him to move back in with Carla? I can't. Jenny's in the back room. She's... It's all just a mess. OK, so, you go give Jenny some TLC, and I'll shoot around the precinct, see how Ryan's getting on. Really? Of course. Luckiest man in the world to have you, my lad. Mm. Yep, not bad. Yeah, not enough bling. <laughs> you don't need no bling. You look perfect. So you're going to use the cane or what? Because you could get a new one. I mean, you don't want to go white, obviously, but you could I'm get I'm walking. Some... Oh, are you sure that's sensible, son? I mean, you don't want to take a tumble, do you? Well, I'm going to need both your help. One on each side. Walking you up the aisle, you mean? Yeah. If it's not traditional, is it? Ugh, like I care. Look, you're both a nightmare, but you're the two people I love most in this world. Well, you and Billa. So, um, what do you reckon? That you even need to ask. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mum, watch your suit. <sighs> 
Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, that could land you in trouble. I've got a mother, you know. It does scary things to you, that stuff. And it's illegal. She'd say the same. I know. Oh, Daisy. Your mother. Oh. Right, well, I'll leave you to get settled in. Uh, but I'm serious. Hey, look, I'd appreciate it if you, uh... Oh, yeah. My guy. See ya. See ya. Ah, Mrs. Carlyle. Did she pass? With flying colours. I'll just grab you the certificate. Well, she looks brand new. Yeah, we'll give her a quick swill and Ubered inside. Ah, oh, well, make sure you charge me for it. No, no, it's a courtesy. Oh. I'll be back. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> um, about what she said. Oh, I meant to pick you up on that. A mouth can run away with her, but you'll not find a more professional outfit. I mean, we're used to dealing with fleets. We do the firm at the end of the road. I'm the trustee for a charity for women with criminal records. We help get them back into the workplace. Into it for the first time in some cases. Wow. Oh, and he's me thinking she was oversharing. <laughs> and the charity promotes honesty. What have I missed? Nothing yet. Look, she's on trial. She'll probably be gone by the end of the week. Oh, no, okay. It's, just, it's all right. It's the uh, wrong attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you explain. I need to fetch the kids. Right. Is that Mrs. Carlyle? Uh, I managed to print off the certificate. It took a few goes, but I got there in the end. <laughs> Would you like to come with me so I can take payment? Right, well, I'll leave you in Cassie's capable hands, but just fang us an email saying exactly what it is you're looking for and uh, you can sort some figures out. Okay. <laughs> or maybe I'll do it myself and then he can make the tea. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't Motley crew him. As far as uh, business strategies goes, it's monumentally unorthodox, alienating the very people whose custom they rely on. If that's how they're going to be, I think you're best off out of it. It's easy for you to say. What about upstairs? What about me? You've got four weeks, by the looks of it. So we don't have a case? Well, they'll have a team of solicitors, cannons on the lawn. You can fight them, but you'll have to pay costs if they win, and they will. What, even with you in a wig? I'm not a barrister. What's the difference? Right, what does LA law say? Basically, in a nutshell, we haven't got a guy in Hell's chance. You neither, I'm afraid. I see. They just bulldoze over us. Like flies to wanton boys we are. Well, there is one thing we could do. Last day of trading. Pub full of booze. She's right. Jaco? Round up the locals. We'll drink this pub dry. Come on. Wicked. Wicked? I mean, boss. Boss. <laughs> Just don't ask me to do the washing up for a day or two, OK? So, uh, how much was that? Why? <laughs> if we're thinking of getting our own crib. I had a voucher, actually, which I didn't enjoy using. Two thirds off. Look, there's a flat for rent in the precinct. It's mm -hmm. not far away, but it's still out of our price range. Landlord wants a deposit and two months' rent up front. Other than that, we could move in tomorrow. We could go see her. What's the point? Get the south of this place for an hour. <sighs> so, in other words, we've got my mum to thank. El Madre. Oh, she drops a clanger and we come up smelling of roses. Yeah, but did she drop a clanger, though? Oh, we got lucky. The woman's on the same team. Anybody else would have run a mile. Thanks. Well, it wasn't you, it was her. I am her. Look, I'm just saying how well your mum's working out. Well, yeah, and I think the job's good for her, too. No, we all need something to get up for Ty. Yeah, we'll drink to that. Oh, speaking of which, uh, uh, tonight, Robbers. Yeah, last two rah. Eight people's phones have been lighting up about it, mate. No, I'll probably give it a miss. We're in the middle of a series. No, I don't mind. Go. End of an era, innit? You'll write yourself. 
No, no, you won't catch me in there when it's under new money. <laughs> oh, I bet you 20 quid I will. 20 quid says I see you on the corner of that bar tonight before she rings the bell. Any news on your car, Ty? Uh, yeah, yeah, they found it. Good news, actually. The thieves had had it all cleaned inside, air freshener and everything. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. It's been a long day. I am sick of having to listen to it. Not as she well puts it on. Asha, please. What, have they got nothing better to do in the middle of the afternoon? Such is the burden of the unemployed. Well, why can't they go and live with her lot? Now, oh, surely she's got some family they can sponge off. Pass. Or was she immaculately conceived? Nothing else in here? Flats. Mm, were well, you looking in the free section? Penthouse apartment, central Manchester, absolutely nothing per calendar month. We've got a view in this evening. Mm, this is one that Bernie mentioned. Mm. Oh, um, Nina's actually got a load of spare buttons. Will the landlord accept those? Well, can I, is that constructive? Honestly, they're practically adults and they're bickering with each other like all day long. It's her, not me. And Courtney's using vouchers now, so. <gasps> vouchers? The shame. I was brought up by my grandparents, by the way. Grumpy and grumpy. They're dead now. Didn't know that, Courts. You never asked. And my parents, they died when I was two. Car crash. I'm sorry. Me too. Mm. Me three. I've got this far. I'm sure we'll figure something out. And no grumpy and bumpy watching over me, so. Hope we took the last hour off. Darren thought I was destitute without him. But we'll show him, won't we, babe? Of course. Right, I'm gonna go with the loo and then I'm gonna get a shower, so. Mm. Was that really necessary? That was well embarrassing. Yeah, well, it's embarrassing listening to that while I'm trying to do my coursework. Guys, please. What? She just basically told him she's with him for revenge. I mean, how belittling is that? Who's that? Can I come in? Got yourself settled then? Yeah, yeah, thanks again. I'll be glad of the pennies. Oh, yeah, do you want to give me your digits? I'll transfer it now. I heard about your little sideline. I think everybody has. So what exactly do you do? Use your imagination. Actually, no, don't. Too late. Look, I promise I won't do anything if you're in. Well, what if you... You know, I'd, I'd come back? Bring the buzzer three times. Plan. Yeah, we'll manage. The things we've got to do, eh? You said it. But if they're paying, then... That's the thinking. Look, I'll respect your privacy if you respect mine. Totally. Right, I'm chucking some Mexican rice on if you want any. Nah, no extra calls for me. Thanks, though. Hi. Hi. Um, are you sure this is all legitimate? Well, what you have to ask yourself, Kenneth, is do you think that what they did was legitimate? Well, it looks just like a speakeasy. Help yourself, kid. Right, all right. Rita, you sit down. I'll bring the drinks Thank over. Thank you very much. Um, can I have a half, please? Oh, have a pint. It's free. Yeah, I'd like a half. How many? Yeah. How many pints do you think you've had a day? Today? No, in total. <laughs> Impertinent. That uh, will get to you. Well, let's see, you know, I mean, coming here about two or three times mm -hmm. a week, on and off. Well, apart from when I ran the place, obviously. Mm. And how many a week would you say? I don't know, ten. OK, so ten times 52 is... She's a whiz on that thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many years you've been coming in? I don't think I like this game. How's Ryan? Uh, um, there was an incident. Just some young kids in the precinct. Lost his rag, but it's OK. Idiots. Uh, yeah, help yourself. Sweet. So, 33 times 520 is... 
17,160 pints of beer. Is that right? Mm. Brilliant. It's not that bad, actually, is it? Mm. Yeah, I don't think we should go either. The time was, I would have jumped at the chance. What, to have as many free bodies as you like, free of charge? What time was this? Five minutes ago? I know I pay for it tomorrow. Someone dropped her on her head. I feel like I've got an hangover every morning as it is with M5. Mm, that happens when you reach a certain age. Hey, you're too young for that. You're getting boring. <laughs> oh, they must be proper panicking. Glenda's proper got one on her. Oh, well, don't blame her. It is the livelihoods. You've been enough the staff. Mm. Even you must struggle to forgive that. Mm, you seem a tad myopic. Short sighted. Well, I'm deaf all getting smashed at the wedding. He can mind the kids. If I ain't puke by the end of the night, I'll be devastated. <laughs> Meet your new sister-in-law. You know, you are stuck with this lot after I'm... Uh... The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Imagine it, though. No more rovers. Don't know. Maybe even pubs have an afterlife. You told them. Well, it's something we agree on. Mm, not the only thing, either. See? Michelle is still around. Maybe you will be. Mm. Sad thing is, I was feeling so at home here. Well, I'm not last forever. I'm not going back on the ships. It's difficult, though, isn't it? Once you start to wind down. Wind down? Well, you know what? I'm... Look, if I was given the choice between a night in watching the telly with Dylan or a night out on the lash, I am going to be watching the telly every time. You know, and most people, they'd say the same. And if they didn't say it, they'd be secretly thinking it. I haven't got a Dylan. Oh. I dare say this place will just keep going the same with the new fixtures and fittings. Mm -hmm. You know, if we had a pound for every time this place had been redecorated. <laughs> well, it's been a nice enough little pub. You know, I still think about Deirdre every time I walk into this oh. pub. Especially on our wedding day. Which one? I'm just glad that Paul and Billy didn't have theirs in here. Small mercies. Mm. And that's the thinking of closing it up completely, you know, knocking it down. Well, if they think they can get a bob or two for it, they will. Not turn it into flats. To hell with the history and tradition. How's Jenny taking it? Hard to tell with everything else going on. Oh, your money's no good, Kirk. What's wrong with my money? It's free. All night. New policy every Tuesday. Sorry I could only do this so late. <laughs> I had to, uh, kick out some tenants on Parliament Street. I had to wake up one of the kids. <laughs> Usual drama. Right. <sighs> Woman who lived here pegged it. That's, uh, I'll get rid of the junk and that, don't worry. Uh, I'll just check the bathroom clean. Mm. So what do you think? Eee! Well, the landlord's a charming, isn't he? I'm serious. I'm still processing. I mean, we can only afford this place. We can't even afford this place. We shouldn't have bothered. I'll, I'll tell him now. Ah, oh, so... <laughs> First impressions. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, ah, <great>. yes. <laughs> oh, you'll always have a place to call home so long as I'm around. And Stephen, you can stay as long as you like. I'll be glad of your company. I miss him, Rita. Leo. Johnny. For all his faults. Our ups and downs. I'm not saying I don't like Stephen. I do. I do very much. Oh, people probably think I go chasing father figures. Well, Leo certainly wasn't one. <laughs> oh, people can think what they like. You've gone through an awful lot this last few years. You kept this community going single-handed. Oh, well, I don't know about that. You did and you deserve to be happy. Stephen wants to whisk me off to Thailand. Well, another holiday's not to be sniffed at. 
I'd like to have been to Thailand. In fact, I'd like to see more of the world, full stop. You had your chances? Mm. And I spent half a lifetime selling sweets. Well, somebody had to. <sighs> How could he murder his own son? Teddy. I'd give anything in the world to have mine back. But there just there doesn't seem to be any other explanation. So you're going to be leaving these lying about all the time, then? What? Oh, yeah, that was a freebie, that. Ever had a gay experience? <coughs> <coughs> Where did that come from? Well, I'm presuming half the stuff you do online is with men. Yeah, yeah, it is mostly, but, I mean, I'm not, you know. Not in the same room as him, so it do not count. But you can appreciate a good-looking bod, can't you? Like him. Uh, well, yeah, but only from an anatomical point of view. All right, chill out. I don't see the problem with steroids if they make you look like that. No, me neither. Steve, we all have to stand united. We'll be back. You'll be first through the door, whether it be a sports bar, a gastro pub. Human nature. Ah, <laughs> I knew it. I knew you couldn't resist. What, 20 quid? Lay it on, mate. It seemed a shame to miss out if this is it, and Abby's fast on. Hey, you'll never believe this, Kev. Every Tuesday from now on, it's all on the house. Spread the word. Hey, mate, I'm No, do it, you do. Uh, you're right, Steve. Hey, this is orange juice before you say anything. Oh, it's all right. You deserve it. You might have just bagged us our biggest contract we've had in years. Isn't that right, Troy? Fingers crossed. What are you having? Uh, I'll have a pie, please. Oh, can I just come in? Right. See, 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 see. If Lago was diesel, you'd be halfway to the moon! <laughs> that is some air putter on. Kev! I fear Asher is drunk. She's enjoying herself. <laughs> it might all end happily. Mm -hmm. Addy and Courtney? It'll end for sure, fingers crossed. Well, who knows? They might live happily ever after and prove everybody wrong. Well, you'll get long odds for that, Mary. Be grim do when all this place is tinned up. Oh, it's the same all over now, mate. I mean, Tile Street Tavern, Pineapple, the Farriers. Tinned up? Here you are. Ah, oh, cheers. Right, come on. One, two, three. Oh. <coughs> oh, come on, Marty Pants. Join in the fun. Well, maybe just the one. You have one? Just half for me, half, half, right. half. Come on, then. You got it. Oh, one, oh, two, oh, three. Oh, oh. oh. <coughs> Look at this. House of the Rising Sun. Uh, we're leading him astray. <laughs> <laughs> Everything OK? Uh, I'm feeling a bit better. Ah, yeah, a spoonful of Rita. Yeah, she's gone on. Yeah, Ken too. I suppose it's past her bedtime. Mm. Mm. Thailand. Thailand? Might not want to come back. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> what? I uh, would, well, you know, I've got some cash. You're at a crossroads. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, let's just move to Thailand. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> It's the shocking true story of a dangerous romance that ends with murder and rocks a whole community. Watch Love and Death now on ITVX. Next on ITV1 tonight, it's the first part of our new documentary series, The Real Crown, Inside the House of Windsor, coming up. <laughs>